sometimes you can have a, a role model and the person who emphasizes you. Yes. These are two different, different people. people. Yes. So oh, oh, anyway, that's great. Uh, in national team, you are you are you are you are you are there. Really. Mm, mm. Uh, now you have a new coach. Yes. Uh, Grant. What the man, because he's a big coach. Very big coach. There in, in England, biggest club like Chelsea. What uh, he, he has been telling you, especially in the performance, uh, tactically. Personally or as a group? Both. Let's start with you because I'm talking to you. Um, is a type of uh, coach who likes talks to you, like it gives you confidence, like do what you can do, mm. make many mistakes as you can, because we keep learning every day. So make many mistakes as you can. Like he always tells me that, look at me, me, I'm a big coach. I've been to Chelsea, I've been here to Ghana, but look, I've come to Zambia. That that, that doesn't mean that I've stopped learning. Mm. I keep learning every day. I keep learning every day. That's what he always tells me. And when you look at the guys, and the guys love him, they respect him because he's a very open, open person. Like you can go when you see, like you want to improve here and there, you can go to him, he advise you what to do. Yeah, he just like, he wants to those players who, who works hard. Mm. Exactly. Do you remember uh, Zambia national team 2012? Yes, I do. People are saying that that was the best cream ever happened in, in Zambia. Is it true? Yeah, that was a very, very good team, more balanced team, that I can't lie. It was a very, very balanced team, very, very good team. You know, we had everything in that team. That's what we are trying to build now. Because we have a, a lot of players are young in the national team right now. Mm. Yeah, so we need to build the same team that won the Africa Cup. That's the team we want to build now. Because a lot of players that won that cup, they have retired. Mm. So it's like we are building now a new team that can compete on that high level. Mm. Yes. And where were you those days back when they left the championship? Well, I, I, I was in Shilabombe. Yeah. yeah, I'm just young. I was in Shilabombe. Yeah, so that time I was very young. I was just watching from afar when we won the Africa Cup. Lines in the blade team. <laughs> I don't even know where I went. Yeah. Just because I had that passion for football. Mm. Mm, there is. You think who was the best player in that squad? Yeah, in that squad, yeah. let me just see. Let me just mention two. Mm. Emmanuel Mayoka and Glenford Kalawa. Why then? Ah, Emmanuel Mayoka was calling. He was the top scorer in that tournament. Mm. Glenford Kalawa was the master of everything. Yes. Giving passes. Passes. Yeah, that's why they call him Master, Master, Master Kalaba is uh, that's the name. He was uh, one uh, under se was seven, 17? Se yeah, yes, just 17. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, yes. 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 just 17. But I was appreciating uh, the captain K Katongo. Uh, yeah, it's also a, that, 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 that one can come fit now uh, because he's a very hard working person. He pushed the guys. He's a very because he's a, even, even a soldier. He's a soldier in Zambia. Okay. Yes, yeah, so he had that that anger to fight. Like he pushed the guys so much that that made us successful in that 2012 Africa Cup of Nation. Mm. Mm. After retirement, maybe because you know you can't be in the field uh, forever. Yes. What do you think to become? When I retire, mm. I want to be working for God. Really? Yeah, it's because I know that I'll be very rich. I, do, I won't even have that desire to be a coach or what. I'll be into football, like just advising people, helping people. But I want to go into ministry, like mm. just uh, doing God's work. That has been my dream. Yeah, I want like, well, it has been my dream like to build an orphanage. Mm. A school, an orphanage, a hospital, where like those orphans will be staying. Yeah, while I'm doing the God's work, that has been my dream because I love helping people. Mm. That has been my dream since childhood. I don't like seeing people suffer. No, that has never been in me. I have that passion to help people. So I pray that God one day will grant me what my heart desires are, oh. which I know it will come to pass. Mm. Even me today, you will help me something really. You see, you like to help people, they don't want to see people suffer. So yes, as them. long as I can help you, I can help you. I know. With what you want, if you have what you want, I can help. Yeah. Yes. I know you have. Yes. Yes. You 
help me. <laughs> no, just I'll bring because these are the tops we'll be wearing when everyone going okay. back. But don't worry, next month when I come, I'll bring you. I have so many you things. Come back next month? Yes, next month I'll be here. I need to do something. Oh, you will be back for. No, just want to do one or two things. <laughs> I'll be here next month. Okay. Because this month, yeah, next month, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's end by uh, advising some of upcoming youth players. Now they are maybe in Zambia, in Tanzania, they are watching you, you play football. Uh, and they maybe uh, this is the field which they love more to be. What you, what you, what you, my advice to yes, them? Uh, yes, what should you advise them? Uh, to anyone who come across this video, uh, my advice to the upcoming players is that uh, um, this talent we have is God-given talent. Mm. And one thing we need to know is that what God starts, he ends. And God doesn't come through what he never started. If you start your football career with God, you finish at it until the end. Uh, we need to look up to God. Whatever we do, we need to acknowledge God in our works. Because uh, one thing we know that our lives without God is a meaningless one. Uh, secondly, we need to be working hard. We need to be pushing. We need to keep to do something every day that will keep that dream alive. You know? Dreams do come true. Uh, I'm, I'm one person God has shown mercy. mercy. I believe in hard work. I believe in prayer. I acknowledge God in everything that I do. So that's my advice to the upcoming prayers. And the, uh, the last thing, let me just say that don't, don't follow money. Let money follow you, you know. Don't put money aside. Just put your eyes on the go, and your dreams will surely come true. Thank you. Don't follow the money. Let mm, money, money follow, follow you. you. I think that is the very massive and the good and advice, brothers. Thank you very much for your time. I'm very... Uh, happy to have you in this and exclusive interview we've been getting in touch for several times come come yes so this time around we've been together and i've got a lot of an experience after this an exclusive interview i would wish you the best once you get back around in zambia pass my greeting around and once you come back make sure you come up and you bring me your address. no problem really no problem asante sana bwana sisi hatuna cha ziada mimi naitwa Juma Ayo tulikuwa katika mahojiano maalum kabisa kwa lugha ya adhimu ya Kiingereza tukutane wakati mwingine mara nyingine usiache kusubscribe ku like lakini pia kama utakuwa umefurahishwa hapa una jambo lolote usiache ku comment kupitia kishamba tv tukutakie wakati mwema kwaheri kwa sasa